Coming up on this video, we visited the Glenfinnan Viaduct and surrounding areas. Drove through Glen Coe, Kilhern Castle, and Inverara Castle. The Glenfinnan Viaduct was completed in 1901 and overlooks the Glenfinnan Monument in the waters of Loch Shiel. It is the longest concrete railway bridge in Scotland. The famous Jacobite steam train runs every summer and leaves from the Fort William station, arriving in the lake in about two hours. If your goal is to see the viaduct while the train is passing over it, our advice is to arrive about an hour before it comes as the car park gets extremely full and there is a good walk out to the viewpoints of about 30 minutes or so, depending on how close you want to get. Before arriving, check out the train schedule online for the departure times in at about 30 minutes from Fort William departure or an hour and 20 minutes from Malig departure. The Glenfinnan Monument was completed in 1814 and dedicated to soldiers who fought in the Jacobite Rising of 1745. The unknown Highlander statue was added at the top in 1835. The area here is historically famous because in 1745 it was here in Glenfinnan that the Jacobite Rising began when Bonnie Prince Charlie raised his standard on the shores of Loch Shiel. The church and Glenfinnan Monument are just a short walk away from the Glenfinnan Viaduct across the A830 road. After a very long day, we headed to our hotel near Glencoe. That night we stayed at the Loch Leven Hotel, located just a short drive away from Fort William in North Balakulish. This was the family room we stayed in, and when we arrived, they had already made the sofa bed for the kids. The view from our room was straight out to Loch Leven. Our stay here was just one night, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to explore, but we did walk nearby the Loch Shore and the hotel garden area. The hotel also has a gin distillery on site, but unfortunately we didn't have enough time to go see it. The view from outside the hotel restaurant was beautiful, and you can also see the Balakulich Bridge from here and the boat ramp area. Sunsets in the Scottish Highlands did not cease to amaze us.
After breakfast the next morning, we went for one last look at the beautiful lock before we headed to Glencoe. The waters were so still that morning, reflecting the hills and sky like a perfect mirror. The drive through the A82 in Glencoe is probably the most breathtaking one we experienced in Scotland. There are many places to pull over and photograph and relax along the A82 in Glencoe, with many trails to hike and scenic views such as waterfalls and mountains. Kilchurn or Kilhern Castle is located at the northeastern end of Loch Awe in Argyll and Butte in Scotland. It was constructed in the mid 15th century and was the base of the Campbells of Glenarchy for 150 years until the 1740s. In 1760, the castle was badly damaged by lightning and was then completely abandoned. It is now in the care of Historic Environment Scotland and open to the public in the summers. Unfortunately, this summer of 2021, it was closed for conservation work, so we could not go inside. Our final tour of the day took us to Inverara Castle. Inverara Castle has been the seat of the Dukes of Argyll, chiefs of Clan Campbell, since the 18th century. 
Although the Duke and his family live here, many parts of the castle are open to visitors. Its collection includes more than 1,300 pikes, muskets, swords, and other weapons actually used in the previous wars. Inverara Castle was also featured in a 2012 Christmas special of the TV show Downton Abbey, so fans of the show should recognize this entrance area as well as the outside grounds. In the basement area of the castle, you will find the old kitchen displaying an amazing variety of copper utensils and other kitchen items. The original kitchen was last used in the 1950s by the Duke's grandmother, Duchess Louise. There are several fireplaces, stoves and ovens showing different methods of cooking, baking or roasting of the time. Also in the basement level you will find a tea room and gift shop. We enjoyed some delicious scones and lemonade after our tour of the inside of the castle. The garden grounds are about two acres in size and include several pathways to walk and enjoy the beauty and great variety of plants and flowers on the castle grounds. If you haven't yet, check out our other Scotland trip videos on our channel after this. Off to Glasgow we go. Goodbye for now, beautiful Scottish Highlands. We hope to see you soon. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we would be honored if you would as that will help us get our first 100 subscribers and keep you notified of all new videos we post. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to leave a comment below.